I'm painting lupins and iris again. And my approach is going to be to use a wet in wet method. Now I used to, ex 10 years ago, I exclusively painted with uh, watercolor. And I loved that wet and wet effect. And you know what? I still love that effect, even though I'm using acrylic, because you can get it in acrylic too. I'm going to paint my flower with water and then drop in some of these colors and see what happens. I've incredibly sped up this video, of course, so that you can get it all within two minutes. But what I really want to do with this video is inspire you to, uh, to try out acrylic inks. I just love how um, you can paint with water, or, or at least uh, make your shapes with water, drop in the ink and have it just explode and mix on the canvas and do its own thing. And that's really what I wanted to achieve with this painting is to let the happenstance happen and to recreate that kind of watercolor look and feel of wet and wet. I just love that so much. And these lupins and iris certainly on that day, in that moment, called out to me to be treated and handled in this way. I have a real-time, longer version of this video and in it, I talk about why I'm making the decisions that I'm making, and it's got a little bit more detail about, uh, about the actual making of the painting. If you're interested at all in viewing that, let me know in the comments section, and I will upload it. But in the meantime, thanks so much for watching, and enjoy your creativity wherever it is, and wherever you are, and however it shows up. Thanks. Bye for now.